Now we're live. <laughs> I'm Jacob Music, and this is a special extra edition of The Word with author C.K. Brook. Thank you so much for being on The Word again. Thank you for having me again. Okay, so first I understand that you wanted to get into some corrections from our last interview, so I will let you do that first, and then you can tell us a little bit about why we're having this little special extra edition, and you can tell us about your upcoming release. Well, there are only just two little corrections I wanted to make from the first interview. And the first correction, Jake, you'll be sad to hear. The Duchess Quest actually is not a sweet romance. I was wrong. Um, a sweet oh, wait, romance? Are, are you saying that you gave me false information? Did you I, lie? I unknowingly, I, I honestly didn't know, and I should have known because, you know, this is technically my industry. Um, a sweet romance would mean that there is absolutely zero sex and that it's just like solely a romance, like a very chaste romance of like two characters, just the most they ever do is maybe kiss at the end. And so obviously the Duchess Quest, you know, there is a, a little bit of sex. So um, so it's not a sweet romance, it's a mild romance. <laughs> So that was the first question. I wanted, I wanted the COA, you know, just kind of. <laughs> so it's good. so it's a mild romance. That's it's what a it's. Mild romance because yeah, you know. but um, so uh, yeah, I just I just didn't want to have like faulty information floating out there because I now I'm sort of I have learned that sweet romance is generally you know if you're talking about like a teen romance you know geared towards younger readers you know minors. Um, and parents, you know, could let them read a sweet romance, and that's not what my book is. My book does have, you know, sex in it that some parents might not want their teenagers or adolescents reading. So I just wanted to, like I said, COA, and <laughs> it's not a sweet romance. And then the second correction that I wanted to make, and it wasn't really my fault, Jake. It was yours. What? And what? Are you saying that I made a mistake? That's on the you, Okay. Right? At the end of the first interview, you were like, okay, if you like this book, this book, and this book, then you would like The Duchess Quest, and you wanted me to like name those books. Well, you edited out the part where I said, hey, can I say movies instead of books? And so, you know, and then, and then cut to me, and then it just cut to me naming all these movies, and I look like an idiot. So, I wanted to say... <laughs> so I wanted to say, if you like The Princess Bride by William Goldman or Stardust by Neil Gaiman, then that's the type of book I think that The Duchess Quest is. <laughs> so uh, you've you've just now exposed my mission of making you look like an idiot. So congratulations. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm not helping, but <laughs> having this conversation, this is a prelude to a very important and exciting event in your life. Yes. Um, yeah, I wanted to come back just to give a little preview, a little announcement that the sequel to The Duchess Quest, entitled The Duchess Inheritance, and that's the second and final book in the Jordania duology or series, um, is underway. We are in the very final stages of formatting, and so it should be out in probably less than a month. I don't have an exact release date at the moment of recording this, um, but I will very soon. And so I just wanted to kind of give everybody a little announcement teaser that book two is coming very, very soon. Yeah, and also, why don't you tell them about your blog, because you did feature a Q&A, and you offered yeah. some information about what the second book would be like. Yeah, definitely. Well, I have a killer WordPress blog right now. It's author C.K. Brook, and that's Brook with an E, at um, sorry, dot wordpress dot com. So author C.K. Brook dot wordpress dot com. I'm also, I cross-post a lot of my blog posts onto 4814, my publisher's website. And so that's the numbers, 48 and the word, spelled out 14.com. And you can click on the blogs and you can check out my blogs. And I, so, um, Jake, what you were referring to is I posted um, a blog post on, I answered 15 fan questions about what to expect in The Duchess Inheritance. They're spoiler-free. Um, Nothing is gonna like you know give away major you know plot points in the in the first or the second book. So even if you haven't read the first book, you can still read those and it won't it shouldn't spoil you. Which is really cool. And I found out that well I, I don't know if you mind me saying this and if I guess if you do, I can um, edit this out. But I had a question specifically. I saw the cover art and I thought it was really cool. And I was wondering who the models were. 
but it's a mystery. Oh, we don't yeah, know who they are because it's, it's just it's just um, stock photo. Basically, it's yeah, <laughs> it's the photos that the artist you know didn't need to like obtain rights to get. And I helped her. You know, we looked through tons and tons of um, models posing. And um, I had a very specific image in mind of how I wanted the couple on the cover to be posing. I, I didn't quite find a pose as passionate as I wanted, but that was the closest one we could find. And so she silhouetted it, and we do not know the identity of those models. <laughs> and so you can read, uh, read those questions and answers on C.K. Brooks' blog. And now I have some questions uh, for sure. her about the Duchess inheritance that are not the same as the blog questions so I'll ask you these Excellent. now and the first one I have is well first actually now that you corrected me about the sweet romance um, oh, excuse me that the Duchess quest is a mild romance which I, get, okay. I didn't know existed so that's a new category to me <laughs> is this follow-up the mild romance too? Um, I would call it mild to medium or you know mild medium to Medium is something too? Well, it's it's like it's the same thing as when you go to an Indian restaurant and they want to know how spicy you want the food. It, you know, you get sweet, mild, uh, medium, or spicy. And they so it's like different, like five with, different with, gradients from like children's <laughs> book to pornography. Well, <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. Um, <laughs> I don't know about that, but speaking solely in the realm of romance novels, it's like, you know, sweet to spicy, how spicy. So Well, we all know uh, why people read romance novels, don't we? <laughs> Except for the people who love the Amish romance. For the example, Amish the... Actually, the Amish romance is from what I heard. Um, they There's allowed to be some sex if it's between married people. Okay. They, they, say no, they say no pink part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... so the like making love question. for Jesus, basically. <laughs> <laughs> You're too much. <laughs> Did you ever uh, consider posing for your own cover? Oh no, definitely not. I, like seashell mermaid outfit, and like maybe like a starfish <laughs> on your head, and then like in the arms of somebody, like hanging off of a castle <laughs> or something. You know, now that you've published one book and are about to publish a second volume, uh, do you think that people expect more out of a second book? Also, do you worry about the possible sophomore slump? I call it sequelitis. Yeah, I think I think people absolutely expect that if you are a quality writer, then you should be improving, and your second book should knock should blow the first out of the water, or knock it out of the park. And so, if they're already hooked by the first book, then you have a responsibility as the author to really knock their socks off with the second book. And that was my utmost priority. It had to be epic. So. We feel very confident um, that the sequel is, like, if you think the first book was good, wait till you read the second book. It, it's, it's, like, so much more, you know, amplified. Um, so, to my second question, that the official questions that I wrote, have you sought to continue your wide range of possible audiences for the second book in the Duchess Quest series? Well, I have... Um, I don't think it. I didn't think it would be smart to, you know, hook in that wide range for the first book and then narrow down the audience of the second book to some distinct thing. I I had to keep the second book in the same, you know, geared towards the same audience that the first book was. Going forward with my third book and so forth, um, I have narrowed down my audience that's mainly, you know, women readers of romance type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but but for this book that we're talking about, it's going to be the same broad audience. If you like the first book, you'll like the second book. 